Hello, welcome to Ellen Ruth Soap. I'm Ellen, and today I'm doing a remake of my detox bars. They've been selling like hotcakes. They're an awesome soap, uh, and I use activated charcoal and bentonite clay are the colors and for their properties is in there. And I have a wonderful blend of essential oils. It's rosemary, oregano, or oregano, however you say it, and tea tree oil. And here's some of the benefits, again, of why I chose these ingredients and this combo to make this detox bar. So um, the essential oils, oregano, oregano, how do you say it? <laughs> I say oregano. Um, it's antibacterial, antitoxic. It relieves itch, it's anti-inflammation, it's antioxidant, um, it's just an overall, and there's so much more, but uh, it's a great essential oil. So that's going in there. Tea tree oil is antimicrobial. It's good for skin issues, uh, acne prone skin, eye, poison ivy, psoriasis. Um, tea tree is just a great uh, oil for all that good stuff. And uh, rosemary, okay, here's for me. I'm in my 50s and uh, it's, it helps with uh, wrinkles, acne, dry skin, eczema. Uh, rosemary is just another really beneficial essential oil. Now I do wanna make a disclaimer. This is a bar of soap. It will clean you. I'm not making any medicinal claims. I'm just telling you what the properties of these essential oils have. I'm putting them in my soap. You do your own research. <laughs> but this soap will make you clean. That's what I'm saying. Um, activated charcoal. I'm putting that in there because it's a beautiful black color. It makes a wonderful looking bar of soap. And also, uh, the carbons in it, they absorb toxins. It's a pulling ingredient. Um, it's good for acne prone skin. It's good for problem skin. Uh, my husband likes to use it. He uh, is very uh, reactive to chiggers. He gets into ticks and chiggers, and it really gets his skin going. Activated charcoal is great uh, for that. Bentonite clay is actually not a clay, it's a volcanic ash. It is also a really wonderful pulling agent. Uh, it attracts and um, pulls toxins, so uh, it's highly absorbent. And it's just really good for your skin. It makes a wonderful soap. It adds a creamy slip to the lather, so I really like bentonite clay. I put it in my shaving soap too for that slip. But um, in this bar, I'm using it in there for the natural colorant and for just its goodness. So we're making a remake of Detox Bars today. Last time I did it, my swirls came out. They sort of looked like uh, Shamu to me. They looked like um, orca whales. <laughs> so I'm wanting to get a little more intricate swirl today. That's what I'm going for. I'm gonna pull all my ingredients together, get my hair pulled back, and uh, we will come back and make a remake of Detox Bars. Okay, I'm back and I have my essential oils split and I'm going to put my activated charcoal and my bentonite clay in the oils um, to get them absorbed. I'm gonna do two tablespoons of each. Um, it's supposed to help anchor the essential oils and it'll absorb some of that in there and so hopefully when it hits the oils and everything, it won't speed up trace too badly because they'll already be saturated with the essential oils. That's the theory. So here's the charcoal, which is such a mess to work with, but it's so, it's such a great ingredient, it kind of makes the mess worth it. At least I hope so. No, no, it really does. So, and I'm just gonna let these sit off to the side. Um, well, I get my ingredients and everything ready. I have organic aloe vera juice with a tuss of silk fibers and a little sodium lactate that's already cooled off and ready to go. So that is my liquid portion. And we're just gonna let these sit while I get all the rest of my oils pulled together. And I wanted to show you uh, for the top here, I have some just some rock salt. Um, and I was going to sprinkle it on, but I wanted to make it really extra special, so I'm going to spritz it with rubbing alcohol and put just a little teeny bit of activated charcoal over it there and just sort of mix it around and it'll make a nice black looking salt for the top. Sort of go with the theme. I thought salt is very detoxifying and good. I thought it went with the whole theme. And so, there's my little black salt that's gonna go on the top. Okay, I've got all my hard oils melted and cooled. I have my liquid oils in here. Uh, and to my big pot here, I have put a couple of tablespoons of organic colloidal oats because I want that in everything. Um, so, let me pull 
well, I'll leave this in here. So I have, here is my organic aloe vera juice with Tussa silk fibers and sodium lactate. And I'm gonna just hand stir in my lye solution. Then we'll split it up evenly and get to our essential oil clay charcoal blends. So let's get this in here. It's gonna be pretty full. <laughs> there we go, just barely fits. Just get this incorporated and split this in half. And I really like these um, pitchers. These are polypropylene short form pitchers. I got these on Amazon. There's a couple other places online you can get them, but they're wonderful because they have the measuring on the side. So when I split this off, I can um, get a really close estimate for half and half because I split my essential oils in half. So I definitely want to get close. I mean, it's not perfect. I would use a scale if I was measuring out lye, but just for eyeballing a split mixture, these little short form pitchers are perfect. And they're non-reactive to the lye, so they're very safe to use for soap making. Um, they're actually designed for a laboratory, chemical laboratory stuff, so they're, they're pretty heavy duty. All right, I'm going to go ahead and split off. All right, we're going to call that good. It's very close. So, We've got our soap bases here ready for our additives. I've got my soap mold ready to go. And we're going to be hand stirring because um, I think it's the oregano or the rosemary. One of these is an accelerant uh, of these essential oils, and so we just going to hand stir and take it slow. I've got my whisks if I need them. I'm going to go ahead and add my charcoal essential oil blend into this pot here. Okay. There you go, if you can see better. I want to get as much as I can out of here. All those essential oils are so good. And essential oils are not cheap, so do not like to waste any. All right. Just give that a little stirry stir here. Such a beautiful color. And here is our wonderful bentonite clay. I really like this combination of essential oils. It has a really medicinal smell, but it's good. It's just, I don't know, it smells wholesome to me. I like it. There we go. That's stirred in real good and see how we're doing here. Like I said, last time I made this soap, it turned out beautiful, but it sort of looked like orca whales to me. <laughs> the um, black had <laughs> made sort of, I don't know, they just look like killer whale bars, which is cool. I mean, you know, that's nifty, but I would like a more intricate, intricate swirl if I can get that. And things seem to be behaving pretty good here. We're gonna give it a quick buzz. We'll start in the light pot here and go to lightest to darkest just for a sec. Well, there we go. That's all I'm gonna do. We'll hop on over here. And that's it. All right. Now, let's get to pouring. I think I'll do, yep, see, we're already forming up. Look at that. Boy, it just goes from liquidy to clumpy really fast. It's the clays, I think, because they absorb, you know, the liquid portion. I think it just goes really fast, so.
Let that go through gel phase and we'll come back tomorrow for the cut. All right, my plan for this little half mold is I'm going to dice these up into little squares for a different soap and they will be end beds. That's a way to use these. All right, we're back the next day with my remake of Detox Bars. Uh, I fell for the trick of stick blending and it got thick really fast, so it's a little chunky on top, but it's still kind of cool looking. So let's get it out of the mold. It smells really good today. The essential oils are really coming through. 